Hi, I'm your light shaman. Are you experiencing unpleasant energies in your home and surroundings and waking up in the middle of the night? My work involves clearing individuals, homes, and communities. Contact me at www.lightshaman.earth and I would be happy to help. Coaching for conscious entrepreneurship or travel is available with Huna Mahana. Book a free 30-minute consultation today at High Life Academy or High Earth Academy. For all of your high vibrational healthcare needs, you can visit Huna Kaparure at www.lightinaction.earth. Online energy support sessions and on-site property clearings in the North Salt Lake area with Huna Mahariwa Atta. Head to www.hummingbirdhealingharmonics.earth. Introducing Mexico's only harmonic egg, operated by Huna's Maroyata and Maaikuta. For all of your health support needs, be it physical or emotional, head to www.appapachar.earth. Sweet dear ones, sweet, sweet, dearly beloveds, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to this wonderful, beautiful Unrata today, this beautiful <clears throat> day of sun, day of light, light of days, uh, as opposed to a Sunday, a day of sun, a day of uh, wonderful sunlit uh, vitamins let's hope you're getting some i hope you are getting some let's hope you're getting some sweet sweet dearly beloveds on the tubes of you the book of face and in the grams of instant and the mass x mass <laughs> on x i wonder if we can get on to truth social check it out you know, it's great for uh, it's great to be here today. Look at all this wonderful response from all of you. So th thank you so much. So grateful that you come here and visit when you could be uh, laying on a beach somewhere. Perhaps you are with your phone. Now see the headphones. I would encourage that. I would encourage that. I would challenge you to be this way. Uh, provided you're warm and it's sunny, okay, and coming on to the channel to ask your question with your if, if you're on the phone and with your headphones, we would love to see you. If you're out in nature, that'd be the perfect time to jump on here and, and interact with us. This is you know, Flash TV live and interactive as usual, or how they say in uh, habla espanol, habitual. Habitual. So apparently I'm habitual. <laughs> I'm a creature of habits. And then it's okay. I've discovered some habits that I'm fully integrating and understanding that that's me. That's that's what I am. That's what I do. That's what I am. That's how I am. That's what I say. That's what it be. That's what it be. A creature of habits. Habitual. And if I may say so, non-stop. 
nonstop, continuous. And always as I am with this continuous and this continuum on with joy. I want that for you. I want that for you. Lumia, the artist, I want to speak to you. Go ahead and come on, Lumia. Send up the uh, the link here in a second. Go ahead and come on and, and ask me a question. If you want to speak to me, then let's just do it. Lumiere l'artiste, I, uh, I assume or presume or I imagine or I'm wondering that you are uh, French. Let's hope that you are on the French Riviera sun tanning <laughs> with your phone and headphones. Let's do this. Let's do this. Why not? I mean, I probably would, wouldn't mind doing that if I could do that that's from the from the uh, ply of light. Perhaps we will do a show from the Dragon Masters Intensive. Jump on and uh, get get um, get some uh, network happening over there. Out on Playa eighty eight, uh, Playa thirty eight. Excuse me, Playa thirty eight. So I hope you all had a uh, are having a wonderful weekend, regardless of all this nonsense I'm spouting out there. And um, had an amazing special, Friday night special. Lumiere, how do I get on? Lumiere, just go ahead and select that link. You see it under my name, Mautataki. Come on and join us on the screen. Just hit that link. You can also see it right there in the comments. Okay, so you want to talk to me? So, hey, let's see your face. Let's see what you look like. Let's see who you are. Let's get some energy rolling some vibration and frequency up in this house house of una casa de una as uh, we are lovingly becoming known around here and these here parts how do i get on just go ahead lumiere you can see it under the under the title huna flash tv and um Huna Tamaki has also placed it under my title, Mauta Taki. Make sure we can see you, okay? Lumiere, I know you say Lumiere. Make sure you're in the light so we can see the, the wonderful face of a wonderful being, I'm sure. As you're finding your way here, sweet, sweet, dear ones, the topic for today. And you know, I, I like my topics. You know, I like my toppings. <laughs> you know, I like my uh, themes. And, he, and even if some of them may not, some of them are a bit of a stretch and some of them you may not fully understand until we get on through talking about stuff. Perhaps it'll come clear to you. Today's topic, uh, Elders of the Eagle's Nest. Elders of the Eagle's Nest. Ah, we have someone that's not named Lumiere coming on here. This is Joel. Hello, brother, Joel and Juggernaut. Yes. Hi, brother. From Trinidad. Trinidad, my, my brother. Hi, brother. The lion. Appreciate, appreciate a lot of things you're doing, man. Appreciate, appreciate. That's a surely love. I'm happy to be here to receive you, brother. What's happening? What What's up? What's up? They are um, coming with people on my area here saying, um, that all these gateways and things that in, in on the planet, it don't exist. Because they, they exist. never see it. Okay, let me hear that again one more time. Yeah, gateways now on the planet. They say ah. they don't it don't exist. Well, uh they're not necessarily on the planet, they're in the dimensions, but there is access in certain locations. You know oh. what I mean, man. So that's why the car seats so are still saying it's, it don't exist. They don't. They, they're not sitting out there staring you in the face with a with an address in a mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> and by sure. the way, Stargates don't look like big rings with codes all over them to, so you can dial up an address. They don't look like that, my brother. Right, right, right. That's the movies. Okay, <laughs> but I can say to you, Okay, if it is for you to see and for you to 
connect to so it's being revealed to you so that you may have a certain intention that's aligned to a certain vibration frequency to a certain mission and you will be you will see them yeah. my mom wants to nature and herbs and try to heal now learning a young person trying to learn back the herbs and healing plants and that's what i into though yeah sure sure and the plants and the animals that work with the plants the animals open portals all day long yeah hmm. the, especially the hummingbird and the birds the birds yeah, hummingbird is in Trinidad, yeah, a lot yeah they open portals all day long brother now some of them are portals and they're transporting across different areas of the forest you might not even um be going into you know uh the stars or long distance but but they are opening portals to take life from one part of the forest or the or the land to another area. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. By pollination. Uh, now, that's that's on that that's on a scale of uh, of of what the plants are needing. The plant medicine required the animals, required the birds, required the bees. You know this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they are like the postman. They're going to take the mail or they're going to take the package, which is what they're going to pollinate. They're going to go Pollin. and they need to pollinate. So they are take. they're the postman taking the mail and some of the, the route that they take is through portals that they can open intelligently themselves. Wow. Wow. I've seen this <laughs> and I've seen the portals. Wow. And, and when you, when you, Okay, one time, one way to see a portal, especially as that doesn't have to be a huge one, be a tiny one. To get used to this idea of portals and stargates, it's, you have to be very tuned into distorted fields and and vibrations, much like a, a, a frying pan. You put water in the frying pan, and you let it bubble. Just enough. Doesn't have to be overly bubbling, but it will sizzle. When you see that kind of effect in the trees, in the bushes, sometimes difficult to see in, in, in the bushes or the trees and the leaves, but you can see the difference between bushes or plants being still yeah, and in a yeah. section vibrating. Like you can see it. It's like the yeah, leaves got like certain leaves just moving. The whole tree not moving, but certain yeah. leaves on the tree moving. Just it's just a vibration look making like the leaves doing this real fast. Yeah, yeah. I know you I know you if you're working with medicine, plant medicine, I know you've seen I it. see it. I saw that already, I saw it many times. So doesn't have a doesn't have a it doesn't have a it doesn't have a giant stargate ring around it with an address now, does it? <laughs> true, no. true, true. No, it's not. And I was actually I was gonna share that last uh, the other the, the other night, I totally forgot, but because the question came up, but that's that's it's not going to show you, but only if you are there if you, for yourself. You are a shaman, you are a healer, and you are working with nature and you're working with the system, and it will show you. You can see it because you are meant to see it. Yeah, yeah. And if somebody says, "Oh, there's no such thing," and they can't see it, and, well, that's fine for them. <laughs> true, <laughs> that's fine true. for them. Okay, now go away. Because <laughs> we're busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go, just go home and sit and receive what we are sending through, what we are working but on. As a reference, I call your name because you talk about it and, and, and such, and other people talk about it too. So I just ass assuming it exists. Oh. So, oh, I get it. People talk about me in 20 different ways all the time. And I and I get it. And, and, and that is a good question or, or good. I mean, That's a valid question. That's fine. If I'm affecting your life, if I am affecting their life in some way, and they're concerned about me talking about Stargates, and, and they say, oh, no, there's no such thing, well, that's fine. And it's okay they can say these. And, and But if I am not affecting their life, then it's, it's no worries. 
true. No so problem, true. man. Huh? So true. Yeah. But if I am affecting their life in a way and they don't even know that, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> really? I don't know what to tell you. If if you if come on, sweet, sweet dear one, sweet dearly beloved. Shoot, we gotta tune in. Start in the nature. I have a mission. I work with 48 Stargates. That's what I do. I'm not just religious about this. I know what I'm yeah. doing after 40 years of still doing it. And from my intuition as a person observing from so far away, people action, the people, the, the, the charisma, the personality says a lot. You know, when somebody is passionate about something, they can say they're mad or delusional. They don't exist. But I believe in the energy and the vibes, the spirit. And I, I that does more guide me. Yeah. Well, how the person energy is, how they move. Yeah? Yes. Um, okay, so here, here we go. What is authentic and who is genuine? Who is authentic and who is genuine? When somebody asks a question like this, they they obviously are not paying attention to what's behind me. <laughs> Look at what's behind me. Put some yeah. words together. There's music. Look. Yeah. yeah. There's a bunch of expensive keyboards and computers yeah. that run my music station. There's spiritual cosmic geometry behind me. There's a dragon in the corner and the side there's uh guitar and a bass and acoustic and, and the microphone, all the stuff. Now, that's just what's been going on for the past number of years, few years with that kind of stuff going on. And then also, if you want my biography, and you don't believe my biography, watch the videos. <laughs> you cannot watch a video or you don't want to watch a video. Tell me if you're going to be genuine or, or authentic. Go and watch the videos. And then again, talk to all the people that I've connected to and worked with personally over the last at least 10 years. And I'm talking three decades plus. Yeah, you yeah, talk wow. to the people that I've worked with even in the last two years, yeah. you're going to be talking to hundreds and hundreds of people. And I mean... I travel to the countries. I go to the places. Next next weekend, brother, I'm going to France. Wow. Portugal. Istanbul. Yeah. I'm going to Germany. Okay, I'm going to Greece. I'm going to the UK. I'll be gone on the road for a month. I, I go on tour. I do this. So when people say those things like that, fine, they may be just saying, oh, he's just going to the beach in France somewhere. Yeah, but not everybody have a certain purpose or here or are being for certain things too. So that's why they will react like that, you know? Yeah. They 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 are you know what? They they are where they want to be. I show in your experience going all over the world that spirit, not meaning it had nothing to do with race or or a necessity a necessity or, or race, but the spirit people come to you. Yes. I'll chuck it to you. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, absolutely. And my my mission requires the support of a team. So I am not the only one flying around the world. I have to bring my team with me. There are three or four people in my team that I transport around the world. Okay. Sure. And you want to talk to them? If don't talk to me, talk to them because they're, they're, you know, they're also coming on the missions. Now, let me tell you, you as a shaman, if you're going to go and you're doing the medicine work in another country in the, in the forest, are you going to build a team where you have to fly your team members with you? Whatever your capacity, whatever your, um, whatever required for your mission, you will do everything you can to do that, to make that happen. That is called commitment to admit to the mission. Sure. And I, I have had I have had a team or teams for decades. Yes. Yeah. Where do I get the money from? 
doesn't matter where I get the money from. I get the energy. I have the energy. I have access to travel. I have access. You know what I'm saying? Who's I'm like, I, I, I'm like that too, you know. I'm, I'm trying to be open. That, you know, I'm not forcing anything. I changed many careers. I, I'm the last one. And right now, I just find a lot of my family and a lot of health, sugar, diabetes, well, cancer in my family and dying and all these things. And listening to other people talking and seeing back to the herbs and what the doctor's saying is totally different. And that's what really inspired me to really watch the herbs, the mango leaves, the cereal, the trees, yeah. So my aunt was to do it, they always give us it as a small, so when you grow up, you never study it till now. But you're oh, going to, you're, you're working with the plants and you're going to work with the things you need to do where you need to be. You're exactly where you need to be because they need you. And you and, 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 and you've got all the support there from the ancestors and the, and the nature, the plants, the land, the water, sky, the plants, all the herbs. All of that is past, part of our ancestorship. Yeah, for working sure. with the body and working with the body and the spirit the way that you do. Okay, and then there's another, there's other levels of this too. Um, also, for myself, you know, when, when I'm working to support others, even the planet, I don't approach it from the healing perspective. My approach is from expansion. And as I focus on expansion of the consciousness, I invite the consciousness to, to automatically engage healing. It's like a byproduct. So when I'm like, for instance, I had a bird, it, it broke its wing or something yesterday, picked it up and I'm looking at it and it's squirming around and it's screaming and it's biting me. So, okay, I'll put it into this little container. It actually was a donut container. <laughs> I'll have to tell you there was a donut container container because it had you know, leftover donut in this container. It was transparent, so I put some holes in it so I could breathe. And I just let it settle down. I put water in there, and I let it settle down, and I said, you'll be okay. You'll be fine. You come to the house of Huna now. You'll be fine. Just relax. I put it, the container on the side overnight, went to bed. Woke up this morning. That bird was, like, flapping. The tiny bird was flapping, flapping, wanted to get out, wanted to get out. Almost blew the donut donut container open. So I, I went to the patio. I said, okay, little bit, hey, you go now. And it was just flew off. Flew, and it said, it said, thank you in a way. Yeah. Chip. And I get the video of that. You yeah. so he comes to he come to the house for help. Yeah. Yeah. He was down outside of my security gate and I'm like, okay, come on. So yeah. I put him in the donut box. <laughs> Wow. Oh, he's going to eat some crumbs. He's going to have some water. He's going to be peaceful. And in my home, there's a very Zen energy in my place. He's going to be with all the codes that are here and the crystals and everything. And I yeah. say, okay, you're going to be okay here. You, you're in the house of Huna now. You just relax. Oh, right. So, yeah. And oftentimes, like a dog, how does a dog, <laughs> you know, dog, it, it, you run a dog over. And he goes and disappears for a couple of nights, comes back running around, just needed to rest and heal, it, heal itself. That's expansion of the consciousness, partly, part, partly, right? But um, oftentimes they do need some help. <laughs> yeah, of yes, they need your help. We, we all do. <laughs> yep, absolutely. I don't deny that. But in terms of the stargates, no, there are stargates. Sorry, sorry to say there's stargates. Uh, I work on them. I don't, they're not, the ones that I work with in particular do not have starships flying through them. The story is because of the wars we had with Orion and Lyra and all of that in Vega, it destroyed the vibrations uh, for the stargates and it lowered the frequency that those stargates uh, were programming, begin to programming war. War and the and then the draconians came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then Egypt, Egypt got destroyed. Egypt, all of it was like in terms of vibration. And then you had the Anunnaki. And then you had other beings coming in and, and bringing their distortion, distorted uh, 
habits and you know this 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 mono, monotheism, this monotheistic monotheistic god complex <laughs> of, of, a, of, a, of a, an, an, an enlightened human, an enlightened being with a massive huge ego. Take over. One thing is in common with that is ego, as you say that. Absolutely. They were in the ego, 111% ego to the max, and they lived that way. Well, I couldn't do that, but wow. mm -hmm. that's like, wow. No Come empathy on. at all. They're going to be looking over their back every minute, every second. They'll be watching their back. every. You can't live that way. If you... If you uh, and they always fear to die. Plenty to plenty, yeah. You know, I'm not going to uh, disappear on somebody's ego intentions, though. <laughs> sure. uh, I'll have you know. For sure. So the Stargates I work with is, is set up for the birthing system. And those addresses and those frequency codes are not to be known. They are hidden. But these some of these Stargates have been, have been shut down and been downgraded and uh, also been purified. Yes. There are so no stargates from the so that old all that have some connection with the children when <coughs> connection why they're coming into the planet to, to, to reboot? They cannot come through the old stargates. That's why there are no stargates of the old earth. The stargates of the new earth, and they are not known, and even if the ones have the similar address, they have been upgraded and they cannot be seen and they are not for just mucking around with. They are there, they are reserved and in guardianship for our higher light beings when we enter to return. And, and there's 22 billion coming, so we gotta get busy. And there's our next question, you know, everybody's saying about our higher self, but the saying, and well, how can you prove that the higher self exists? Like a man said, the only proof I seen so far was somebody answered when you know you ask yourself a question or you're talking in your mind, who listening and who is answering, who is talking. <laughs> who the hell cares? We need to prove anything to anybody. <laughs> they ask yeah. dumb questions like that for the last, excuse me, fucking 200 years. Yeah. Are yeah. you going to prove this? I don't go to prove shit to you. I'm going to do the things I'm doing. I'm authentic, and there are people that are working with, and I work with them. We know what we're doing. Yeah. You just need to stay where you want to stay where you are, and you don't you want to come along, or you want to know because you want to come along. Okay, fine, come along. Okay, now shut your mouth and listen. Wow, yeah. I'll take you into the bush, and I'll show you. You got to listen. You got to shut your mouth and listen. Yeah, right. And I'm going to give you confirmation by the things that you're going to do, practical things you're going to do. Like you, you do the practical things that will confirm. Now, you don't confirm yourself. I know you don't. Something else must confirm you. And that something else doesn't get confirmed unless you are there showing up to do the thing. And it will kick back to you and tell you that, yes, yes, you're on the path. That's where the proof is. That's how you find the proof. Wow. You can't do it yourself. You cannot say, oh, I'm all this, I'm all that. That that's 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 like really that's no, you don't do that. You you have to be confirmed by something or someone else, especially along the line along the line of work you do. Yeah, that's how I answer that question. Sorry. I mean to be uh Yeah, so true because we really actually it's not for everybody and everybody's not at the same mission or, no. or or agenda, correct? No. No one's better than nobody, not better than each other. We are all followers, okay? But there is intensity, there is levels, there is capacity, there is tolerance, there is some can run into the fire, some cannot run into the fire. That's just that. It's not bragging rights. These are the things, you know? There are th those things exist. Someone, someone says, you have to be a shaman to do all this stuff. No, I'm not a shaman, but somebody likes using that word shaman so I just say, okay, shaman, so you get it, but I'm a hoona. Yeah, comprehend where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, most of us have come out from behind the tree now. Used to be up in a mountain behind a tree, you know, in the bush. We're not behind the tree mostly anymore. Look at you. You work with the plants. So you're right there on and the, online here with me. We're over here. Yeah, for sure. Communicating. A lot of us. Okay. 
What are you? You're either whale or a dolphin. We, f we follow each other. Who's following who? The whale or the dolphin? Like, that's the way of the Huna. The way of the Huna is we follow each other. So, yeah, um, I know that there's the biggest animal and the ego, the, the, the show, they don't have that ego. Yeah. No, 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 bro. For sure. Hey, I'm really honored to meet you, Joel. Same here. Same. I recognize your name now because there was a question. Something came through Instagram. I think I wasn't quite sure. Yeah. Was yeah. Something you were talking about, uh, some kind of message. Anyway, that's fine. Um, but uh, grateful and honored that you show up here. For sure, for sure. From Trinidad. Trinidad, yeah. Much love and peace to our brothers and sisters in Trinidad. Yeah, for uh, sure. To you. And we will meet one day because that's what we're meant to do. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. For sure. I'll come visit the hummingbirds. The hummingbirds come visit you. We'll send a yeah. message. Yeah. Yeah, that is our part of our um, national bird. Yeah, wow. Okay, brother. We got a lineup here at the house uh, at the Huna Flash TV. There's a lineup running. Stick around if you can. If you got another question later, jump on again. If you wish. Yeah, okay. I'll leave. Right. Much love, Lion. Hi, Huna. Ariel, hey. How you doing? Hey, you know what? hey, where was the? Was it when I did I did I get off at the airport in the UK or something? Where the heck was I? Was that you I saw? Oh, I wasn't no. sure. You said it twice already, but it must have been a dream. <laughs> I asked you because it's like you went hey, and I went oh hey, and I was on the phone, and I had to blast off to the airport or something. It's like I was running. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, it's okay. I came to chime in on your. Um, interesting topic um you know in my own field i'm sure you get this too people start coming in asking you questions they're starting to see things they never saw this type of thing right so mm -hmm. recently there's been a lot of different um bird energies where you'd say you know it's kind of an eagle but not it's could be fatura but it's not it could be phoenix but no it could be a uh, thunderbird but no uh, so my question is, you know, since I don't know, your followers aren't familiar with Maori cosmology, but you speak of like there's 12 heavens and, you know, yeah. they're kind of labeled and this and that. And when you guys have this wataka, you're bringing in the 13. So my question is, what about the 13? What about what's there? Like, for example, you know, like a firebird or te manu, ahi. Okay. So, you know, when you, this is start with the birds and we'll, go through a lineup the yourself well okay birds a billion years from now what is that bird what's the eagle gonna look like right will it will it be an advanced intelligence it already is so it's no doubt it's going to have way more advanced intelligence in a billion years from now so that that being from a billion years from now, highly advances the higher self, the more evolved version of the eagle, accessible now. What does it look like? Over a billion years, its features are going to change. Will have will will it have the will it, as as it's going to be as we speak about the unified consciousness? It's going to all all species unified together will become one. What does that look like? Yeah. So, so <laughs> is it Fatura? Is it the eagle? Is it the condor? Is it the hummingbird? It's the tiny voice from heaven. Sometimes is what I say. Yeah. Just as a matter for me, you know, to for, as I uh, approach that question through the consciousness, unified consciousness, is the the voice from heaven, which is all of us. Now, um, with the Maori. Cosmology, 13 heavens, 12 on each side. Uh, take you through the Fatakura and the Marekura. Representative Mare, um, Ma Marekura representing the feminine daughters, daughters and the Fatakura representing the masculine. This is the Te Ao Māori, the Māori world at the 13th heaven. 
Now, a Maori, of course, what does that mean? Well, that, it means the uh, descendant from the stars, children from heaven, the innocent. That's my nationality. And my passport says that my passport speaks what is known as the Uru Whenua. Uru means to enter and return. But it's not only that, it's an aspect of a Lemurian language. It's not just Māori, because Ur is also in the Vedic. Ru is also in the Vedic. ka -ur, ka -ur uru You see here, it says Uru Whenua. And the name of the land, okay? When I do the login in the name of the, the land, the water, the sky, in the name of Tefinua, it ain't what Tefinua. Now, the enter and return, the 12 heavens. So, if we are all Māori, we must have an aspect of each other. At, at, with this with this feeling, we have to let go for a moment of our flags and receive the flag of the unified flag. What would that, that flag look like? Well, I have an idea. I kind of like what, what the flag would look like in my mind. But um, you know what I mean? We're going to come to one flag. We're gonna, I'm going to drop the Māori flag. Why? Well, just, I recognize that. I don't really need to, to show it around. As we come closer to the unified of aspects, then the thirteenth is the omnipresent. For the for the calendar, the what the wataka, the operating system, thirteen arrives from all energies expanded and contracted together. The the breathing, the exhale, inhale, exhale. This planet inhales and exhales, and the energy expands and contracts so that the planet can continue growing, continue educating itself and us and we, it and it to us, that 13th month is created from the energies separating each season of love. I call it seasons of love instead of winter, blah, 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 spring. I call them seasons of love, right? Because they are. It is. These energies are being gifted in different positions in the rotation. And where the energies are overlapping, that overlapping energy will create expansion and compression. That energy gets moved into position where it's at the center of our being, at the center of the planet also, representing the 12 around one. So in the Māori side, we're talking the 12 plus the one equals 13. Really what we're, we're saying is that we are rotating through the seasons of love and that the 13th month from the 12, from that rotation, that 13th gets built up. It builds up with the energy. It, it automatically builds up because there's energy going out in and again and in and out and it's building up and we have a choice. It gives us a choice. It gives us a choice to receive the 13th as a, as the birth month or uh, selecting one of the 12. Certainly, there's a number from 1 to 28, and you can choose, but that can be assigned when you enter. Or if you are on the edge, and let's just say in the Gregorian, you entered on the 29, 30, 31, Okay, and the, and the Lemurian is 28. Well, what happened to those three days? Well, they got thrown back into the energy mix and built, built the energy to create the 13th. Now, you can talk about how that happens many ways, and the Mayan does. There's a lot of emotions in that, and the way <laughs> a lot of emotions tied up in the way that the, the biblical talks about this 13th and the way the Mayan's talking about the 13th, and it could be either uh, you work really hard and become faithful and religious, or you just toss that all out and do whatever you want. Which is what the minds kind of say. You have you you have that decision, you can do what you what you want. Well, that's there's no accountability. And mostly on either side of that. So what we're saying with the Muria, because it is a aspect of each and all of us to know each other, 
we have accountability and responsibility to each other. To con to, so that this continuum, the continuum, the, is guaranteed the eternal, guaranteed the infinite, the infinite to be guaranteed. So in the Maori, it's a kind of a beat. It kind of does t talk about that, but I feel, for me, okay, like, hey, let's just go. Let's just get rid of all the fluff here. Right. Let's get rid of all the fluffy language, even if it's in Māori or if it's in English. That the English, the Shakespearean fluff, or you know, ancient or or old Māori, just return it back to that language of energy, vibration, frequency, magnetics, because because it knows no time. Energy knows no time. It it doesn't need time. It exists through all. It exists through all nonsense. <laughs> vibration, frequency, energy, and the magnetics. It exists through all the nonsense. It's there, and it's used in many ways. But time, it it defeats time. So when I, for me, and for what's being shared, what's known to Lemuria, is that relationship to continue to grow, to for the creation of life. That cycle, twelve around one, supports the continuation of life, and is a return to that. Because where have we been? We have been with a system that is counterintuitive to life, to life, you know, and very mean, very mean. And a, <laughs> you had enough of that. <laughs> We've had it. We know the lesson. We don't need the lesson again, and we didn't need the lesson in second Lemuria, but we got it. We didn't need it in the third and the fourth, but we got it. And when the time the fifth wing came, the Kumara came and said, this is the last time. Really, it is. We have the lesson. Yeah. Because the councils already knew that we had learned. Now, come on. We are also part of those councils. Now, yeah, I talk, a, I get a little esoteric or I get a little out of hand. I speak this way. Am I making sense? Yes. Because authenticity, sweet, sweet dear ones, utilize 60 to 70% of your ego, not 80 or 100, please. When you're doing that, you're not being accountable and responsible to each other. We learned that lesson. Talked about it many times on my channel. And if we can if we can lower the percentage of ego, which is very emotional, as you know, can create a lot of emotion, we can get we can continue creating in support of each other and, and be able to have the metrics, the the, the the intelligence to to measure and measure ourselves as we go along. And as we measure ourselves and, and somebody needs guidance, somebody needs help, somebody must have an understanding of those metrics so we, we can speak back from the future to because we are from the future. Even right now, we are from the future and bring that speaking back into the consciousness of now. Yeah. I hope I answered the question. <laughs> yeah. And I just want to add that I like it when you share, even if you aren't making sense for some people, they're still receiving the energy. They're still getting the invitation. They're still following the crumbs and they're all coming mm. home. Eventually, so <laughs> just keep appreciate doing. that. Mata tokere. Thank you. Mata tokere. Have a good one. Good to see you here. Bye. Aloha nui. Okay, lumiere, 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 le lumiere, le artist, la le lumiere, le artist. Parlez-vous français? Um, oui, je parle français, mais. What? No, not really. I, I'm, I will butcher the language. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, because I hear a lot of voices. I don't know how to get rid of all those voices. Oh. Like There's on my mute... end, I hear a lot of multiple voices. There's a, a mute button on the volume in YouTube. Uh, YouTube, okay. Go to YouTube. And mute. I'm looking. I don't see it. I see YouTube, but I don't see a volume indication there. Do you see the show on YouTube? I see the YouTube uh, icon, but I don't see a volume thing. Should I click on that YouTube? Because uh, it doesn't yeah. show me a volume icon. Did you come through the YouTube to watch yes, the show? Yes, I did. 
Okay, uh, just click your YouTube screen, and down the bottom is a volume slider, a volume button. You can mute that. Okay, so I see the volume slider. I think that's what it is down at the yeah. bottom. Click it. Click the volume. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 you know, there's no volume up in the in the top. The top has the icon for the YouTube. No, it's in the bottom. Um, the you bottom know, it looks like a slider here, but I'm doing something to it. And let me see if I can get you back. Just click on the StreamYard screen. Uh, you know, I'm in my other screen for my camera and it turned around. So I got to turn back here and here I am. And where are you? I don't see you. I haven't abandoned the show. I'm still here. <laughs> no, but I can't. I My screen doesn't. I don't know what I'm clicking on here. It has. It's my so camera when, screen. So, when you're on the YouTube channel, there's a volume. Just turn it down. Yeah, I'm on my camera screen, so I have to get rid of that screen, and I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of this screen, and I'm going to go out of it, so I'm going to go to, um, well, as I don't see my YouTube. I have to go back to settings. You're still there? Oh, yes, I'm still here. Are you on a, f a phone, or are you no, on No, I'm on an I iPad, and, and I'm okay. looking for the, um, the way I got to you was through the settings, so. I don't even see the YouTube icon on here. Well, it's uh, it's another screen that you have to go to that. Right. YouTube. So I'm going to go to settings, and maybe you'll have to bring me back afterwards when I get back there again. I don't know how that's going to yeah, go. That's okay. You you figure it out, and then uh, we'll be still here. Oh, wait a minute. I, I'm back. I'm back. Can you see me? Can you see uh, me? No. You can't see me. Well, I can see you now. Okay. And the sound went away. Good because you you muted the volume. Now all you have to do is well, click no, on no. The, the sound came back. Hello? Oh, you know what it's playing? It's playing the replay of what yeah. you just did. Yes, I know. It's okay, just, so it's delayed. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the YouTube icon at the top. I think that's the only thing I can do. I don't know. Yeah, and then just turn the volume down on the YouTube channel <clears throat> i'm so sorry I, I, uh, we we je parle très bien le français mais je ne suis okay i'm getting double here <laughs> <laughs> je dois dire que je, je parle très bien le français mais je ne suis pas français and so va so va <laughs> anybody speak fluent french here Oui, je parle très bien. Le... Okay, let me. Très bien. Okay. Encore, encore. Comment se dit Parlez-vous français? Okay. Okay, can you hear me now? I can hear you. Okay, très bien. <laughs> Je parle très bien le français, mais je ne suis pas française. Well, I'd like to see you, rather. That's why okay, you're here. Okay, so um, I was on the camera, but now I'm not on the camera? Okay, turn the camera on. <sighs> Greetings. Uh, while you're doing that, I'm just going to say hi to everybody. Just so you keep going what you're doing. Okay, can you, you see me now? Uh, no. It says at the top, you're in the show. Everyone can see you and hear you. Why does it say that on my screen? I'm not looking at your screen. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I, I don't. Okay. I, I see now why. Now. There you go. Yes. Je dois dire que je parle très bien le français. Bonjour. Sweet. Mais je ne suis pas française, alors. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. And hello, the problem hello. here is I'm getting feedback. So I guess if you don't hear it, I'll I'll bear through it. No, I, I don't hear it. Just It's just uh, the YouTube is delayed because... 
Yeah, and yeah. and and it, I keep hearing what I say back to you. Yeah. So, um, so it's just a matter of turning the volume of the YouTube down. Not right. Not and, and yeah, and that'll be fun. I want this. Okay, go ahead and tell me your question. Well, um, first I want to say I'm, I'm honored to be on here, and I'm an elder. I'm an elder, and I'm three quarters of a century plus one. <laughs> wow, 76, huh? And my name is Lumiere, and I've been living this, this um, and I've been living this life for a while as, as Lumiere. Um, I took this name on right after 9-11, uh, and the reason why I keep stopping, and right now I'm seeing a, a, a rainbow outside of my window here, and water's coming in through the top of the thing, through my window at the top, and I don't know why that is, but these are just strange signs right now. Fantastic. So what I want to say is, when I took on this name, it came to me that I should change my name to Lumiere and let go of the name Margo because it had a lot of, of uh, you know, stuff attached to it from outside sources. So I remember when it happened, I said, oh boy, Lumiere. And I and because I was into filmmaking, I got excited. I said, oh yeah, the Lumiere brothers. But the, the voice said to me, it said, the name, it will, every time someone calls your name, it calls them into the light and it reminds you to stay in the light. Yes, that's a very handy trick. <laughs> so this journey has been intense, and I'm glad to finally know of you because I believe I, I must somehow connect with you seriously because that's the, the, the path I've been on. And it's an intense route, but it's been glorious at the same time. And I have been consistently under attack, and I have consistently lost all of the ones I truly love, either by accidents or they turned against me. But somehow from the way I was raised, I came into that realm of know thyself because I wasn't raised around other children. I mean, these are things I realized later, but I didn't know when it was happening. So um, right now I am under uh, a major attack, but it's, it doesn't matter because it's also a transitioning and I have to get out of New York and I have to get out very soon. Yes. I have um, three visions that seem to be a part of what I would like to do, but always I am being led to what I should do. And these things are always um, uplifting to others. And um, right now, I just know I, I need to connect with you at some point um, privately to discuss some things. Because I'm sure you will be able to help me with the direction. I'm. And to get back to the elder stuff, so I don't have, I have pigeons that I relate to where I live. Mm. So across from me is a building, it's a big red building, but the pigeons line up across there. And I've lived where I am now for about, okay, so that number means something to me. And I'm going to write nice. it down, I'll check it out later. 1441 14, 144114. Four, four. Okay. So what I have that. So the pigeons have been, uh, I, I always watched them since I moved here. And I've been noticing their patterns and how they are, um, have changed, how they're reacting with, um, you know, the things that they keep putting up in the skies. And um, so they, they pretty much are, are speak to me in, in the way that I keep looking at them since I've come here and how things have changed. Even the plants on my windows, 
I can't grow um, uh, the herbs like I could. The big aloe vera plant, I've never seen this happen before and I've grown them before. It curls. Um, mm. So everything is changing here in New York. The environment is, is, is heavily polluted and things are trying to survive. Mm. Um, there's so much I, I need to tell you in private. And, um, and if there's anything you can pick up from what I'm saying, I would love to hear. There's so much I need. Oh, and I want to show you one of my paintings that I, before the pandemic, I was doing protest art. I even entered that into the New York Foundation of the Arts back in 2009, uh, which is a competition. And all of the protest paintings are exactly what's happening now. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm prophetic. But when the pandemic happened, I transitioned to spiritual art. And um, this is one of the things I want to show you. Mm. And now this has the eight-pointed star. Yes. Beautiful, Mother. Thank you. Thank you, Mother. And in the middle, I add um, semi-precious stones, so there's black tourmaline within the center. Mm. Mm. Um, so... I went on this journey during the whole pandemic of doing um, spiritual art and I started working with sigils and, and you know how sigils um, influence, but these were coming very fast. In fact, it's a work in progress and I have many on the, on the, on the walls, but right now I have to leave where I am. And it's, it's, it's a big story. That's why I must speak to you in private. So whatever I need to do to speak to you in private, um, I, I would love to have that opportunity. Um, yes. I don't live in fear and I know I'm protected. That's all I can tell you at the moment. Okay. That's beautiful. Um, uh, mother. Yes. Of course. Email. The okay. Office. So I will email you. Yes. Office at hoh.earth and we will organize a, a way to speak and lock that time down. Beautiful. Um, that's, that's, that's what I needed most. I'm so Thank grateful. Thank you so much. That, uh, Thank you. you. Have, yes, so grateful. And I'm so you. glad that you've come into my realm because you are you you are who I need to be um, guided with right now. I know this. Thank you, mother. Thank you. So much love to you. So much wah wah, mother. And so much wah wah to you too. We will Thank see you. you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Awaken consciousness. Hello again. Hi. Una. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Well, they're all here in the in the in the uh Huna Flash TV. Well, Thanks. um I wanted to stop by because I was feeling all this energy from everybody. And I felt so many people wanting to get on, but I felt them being nervous. So I wanted to get on here to let you know that I feel you and it's okay. You can come on. Yes, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for that message and reminder. Sweet, sweet, dear ones, this is uh, Huna Flash TV interactive, live and interactive. Um, Muku. Muku. You keep freezing. Oh, there you are. I'm in the outside of nature. I thought it'd be a... But I'll go ahead and leave. Thank you for the message, Una. Gratitude. Wah -wah. Oh, that was a nice message. Remind everyone, yes, show your face. 
This is the time. I know it might be a challenge, but it is not. It is never wrong. It's never right. It's going to hurt until it doesn't. Okay. That was incredible. Let's take a little break and we've got to come back on the other side with some messages and a little announcement uh, for you. And please continue to uh, think about a question or a comment or you want to share something. I'm open. That's what we're here for. Okay. So we'll see you back here in just a sec. Going to run some entrepreneurships from the House of Huna and all the Hunas with their wonderful gifts to offer. Need some Reiki or Rife energies? Or perhaps you need some Lemurian healing products? If you are in the UK, look no further than Huna Kaha Tolta at www.hunashealings.earth. Tetrahedrons and obelisks for your on site ceremonies, handmade and coated with Kotahora crystal dust by Huna Hikahima. Shipping is available worldwide at www.shiningstar.earth. Oracle readings rooted in the Lemurian operating system. Get your Oracle reading with Huna Kahasahi at www.flc.earth. Live online journeys, energy clearing modalities, and sound healing sessions for new families with Huna Kahiwaha. Head to www.rl5.earth. Thank you for that, Huna Tamaake. Yes, sweet dear ones, I'd like to just uh, share with you um, some of what's coming up, a couple of announcements to make, and then we have uh, Nani uh, or Noni coming on shortly. Uh, we'll bring her through. If you can hang in there for a moment there, Noni, we'll come back to you. I just want to have a little bit of sharing for you, so go ahead. Yeah, we've got some flyers here, some information. Please, uh, it's incredible that we can be in in Canada this year and also um, with the modalities that are being shared, the Dragon Rider program, it's incredible, uh, an incredible program. Go ahead and take that down, make that note. Um, also, i um, like to announce that a raffle you know what a raffle is, guys? I don't know if any of you are old enough to know what a raffle is. It's kind of like a lottery. It's kind of like a sweepstakes ticket back in the day. Okay, so this raffle, we are offering a raffle, and the prize, first prize for the raffle is a free one-on-one -on -one session with me directly. Okay, so we're going to have some information and a flyer out on that soon. So we're going to be putting out this raffle as part of our fundraising for the events that we are presenting in Vancouver at the um, end of September. 
And so the raffle is going to help support that. That uh, first prize, uh, an expensive raffle, an expensive lottery for a free one-on-one -on -one session with me. And um, the details will be out on that soon. And, uh, that's helping to f uh, support fundraising for our events to take care of our team and get everything together with the elders to bring our elders into the event because we have uh, a number of elders we want to bring through. Okay, so going to be announcing that, sharing that very shortly. S stick to uh, the website, uh, burningmask.earth. Do we have a flyer of the burning mask? Uh, there you go. Look at this wonderful, incredible design brought to you by Huna Matatu. I'd like to thank her for creating this incredible graphic. Yes, uh, Sasha Stone, Chief Phil Lane, the Botswana, the elder from Botswana, Mopoloki Lewis, who was also a Huna. His Huna is Huna Ka Takipo, okay, from outside of light. And, uh, and a whole host of other elders are being invited and we are fundraising to get them there. See? Burning masks. Make a note of that, sweet, sweet, dear ones. If you're in Canada, looking forward to meeting you. This is going to be a huge event at, uh, yes, this is Morgan Bowl in Stanley Park in Vancouver. Wonderful venue in the nature. Wonderful venue and stage. It's going to be able to, uh, our, our elders are going to look, going to be set up properly main stage for the elders and we have another stage for the music so it's going to be incredible if you're in the vancouver area in canada if you have interest please come and join us what else do we have there tamaki are we good okay i'm on the road um very shortly uh, April, as I see, April 27th, I will be in Greece. <clears throat> so far, we're pretty well topped up with attendees who are going to be receiving the ceremony of the undoing on location with me in person. Um, also connecting to the giants, the giant codes and the giants of Lemuria. Um, return from Atlantis and returning their codes back to Lemuria. Okay, so this is going to be a very incredible week, uh, weekend. Okay, so. And as always, from the School of Light in the House of Huna, we have our uh, graduation class of the Dragon Masters Intensive. They uh, will be graduating in person. They'll be doing the physical testing. This is a physical testing, sweet, sweet dear ones. They go for the final testing, which is in person with me on a beach in the Caribbean. Going through all the modalities and the tools that they have learned. These are the titles. These are the titles of the modules and blocks that they are that they are receiving and integrating. They receive the block for the kaha. Kaha. Source power. They are receiving the block for wataka. The operating systems of, of nature, Wataka. They receive the block, which is the Apokura. Apokura, which is the, the staging systems outside of light uh, concerning constellations and planets. And they receive also the Powata, which is the activation of the energy in the hands and the feet, utilizing what is known as the mother's weapon known as the Tayaha, and utilizing the Tayaha in, uh, through the modality of the Powata, which means the slow rising pillar. And then finally, and to completion, they take all the modalities and put them into practice uh, to support purification and clearing and, and, and expansion through Waikara. And the Waikara is the final uh, block that Dragon Masters um, integrate and go through this is a 50-day course um, and so uh, very very powerful blocks keep you going for years actually but you, you go through it in 50 days and then they come to the dragon masters intensive to graduate okay we've got a line up here i gotta stop blabbing let me bring on uh, noni
Welcome, Noni. Greetings. It is so wonderful to be here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, see, a lot of love in there. Thank you. Thank you, mother. Welcome. Welcome. I I don't have much to say. You did? <laughs> uh, except to um, give my gratitude for you and others who continue to hold the light and share your gifts and information in the way you do. The energy is strong here. Yeah. I've been trying to ground myself. So forgive me for... Um, Stay a bit longer. Don't go yet. <laughs> I've, um, I, I first came across your beautiful energy um, through Aaron Lyons, um, who is a beautiful um, soul indeed. And then by way of awakened consciousness, who is my sister. Uh, and um, sorry, it's so much energy here. In the itwa, in the itwa, in the itwa, and in mama, in baba, in toto, and kuku, and buka. We remember you. I love you. I love all of you. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. Tahawa, taha, taha. Ta is uh, the essence is protocol of love. Tahawa, the way, the way of love. Tahawa. Thank you for that. Yes. Uh, I look forward to connecting again, yeah? Yeah. Send us an email. Might be a little bit more easier. Gratitude. I'll be seeing you soon. See you soon. Wawa. Wow, wow. Bye bye. Wawa. <laughs> wow, wow. Oops, what did I do? Oops, I hit them both. <laughs> okay, you're both on now, I guess. Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, thank you, Christina. Una. Mahakana. Oh dear. Wow. Good to see you. Aloha. Aloha. Uh, just wanted to ask a quick question. I've been um I'm in the Dragon Masters course right now. Yep. And um I'm I am I am I'm planning for now to to come to the graduation, but uh uh mm -hmm. slightly different question that um I think would be, you know, honestly helpful for everybody listening, even if they're not uh, Ohuna, but they're, you know, they're attracted to your work for whatever reason. Um, I've been trying to catch up on all of your past videos. <laughs> it's, it's a lot to catch up on. Um, but one, you know, obviously I'm, I'm Hawaiian here in Hawaii and, uh, and there was something that you had mentioned about, um, it, it must've been mm, fall, winter, one of, one of those videos about the rise of Mu Lemuria again. And uh, I can't recall if that was predicated on 
those new stargates that you're talking about being uh, anchored and um basically the question is what can we all do to help that to help the shift you yeah. know okay so Get some education mm -hmm. to work with modalities that can help to purify and clear energies in the field, mm -hmm. smooth them out, smooth things out. You're not destroying anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, undoing something that doesn't serve replaces it with the higher vibration of what does serve, mm -hmm. according to your intention. So keeping your intention up to the highest as you approach a location or an area. And also, um, and you can do those things individually. You've probably been doing them. If you're Hawaiian, mm -hmm. you have. Okay, so in a variety of ways, through the hula or through uh, the, the surfing, mm -hmm. <laughs> through different ways. But also... Uh, we, we are building the Stargate teams, the maintenance team. That's why the Dragon Masters are so important to me. They're aligning the tools and certain uh, consciousness, attitude, to and, and, and intention to, to the one unified code to go and the teams to address the Stargates to ensure that they are c continuously being cleared and cleaned and, and catered and manicured and massaged and, and anchored with the, the, the codes that are are being presented through the Dragon Masters. Mm -hmm. Now, um, yes, some locations in Hawaii have changed. Um, the Stargate, actually, uh, two, hoon two Hooners, well, a team just went there to the Stargate the last few days, yeah. and they purged and cleared out um, energies from uh, when, when the flood hit through the area and hit the area, uh, the location. Actually, there was some, some work I was doing. I pulled a flood through Eyal Valley back in the day. Mm -hmm. So when Buller Logan was still alive, Buller was, we were working together and I pulled a flood through there to clear out Eyal Valley because the, the 13th, the Eyal in there was being distorted and trashed and, and alcohol and rubbish and trash all throughout Eyal Valley, uh, mm -hmm. up through the, through the Eyal. And I was steaming mad when I saw it, because this is also still my home, Hawaii. Mm -hmm. From the, I come from the Waka Takitimu, which is the Matua Waka of the of the migration of Hawaii. That is my family, and uh, and, and and Hawaii was just one of the places where we stopped. Of the many canoes out of the 60, 57 canoes, with fifty seven canoes in the in in the, the migration totaling. Mm -hmm. So we, we did stop everywhere. So when I saw this, anyway, that got done. They got taken care of. And then the Stargate was reset and reintroduced um, in that location. And then a team just came through. Um, Huna just came through and did uh, some more clearing and purging work since Lahaina. And he reports, and they reported back to me all the photos. They shared me the photos of the dark cloud coming up out of the valley pushing up out of the valley and pushing and getting pulled out. And then all the skies become clear. You could see all the way from, uh, from, um, um, from across to the west to, to, to Lahaina was all clearing up and all over from Kihei all the way down was clearing up and uh, energy moving. And it had still be, and now they are just reporting flooding. And just getting, I just got a report minutes ago that flooding is happening in, in I'm not sure exactly which area. I got to look back into it. If it's in that area where they were, uh, or just around Eyal Valley, or if it's flooding in Lahaina. Are you in, are you in Maui now? No, I'm in Honolulu, but uh, it's it's been pretty rainy. I would say for the past couple of days throughout the entire state, Kauai got hit pretty hard um, over the weekend, like very hard. So. Well, yeah, I guess we, I'm, uh, we, outside of um, outside of just like Hawaii stuff, you know, because we're all everybody well, can we, help to anchor light, right? Everybody can yes help this shift. So, in our own ways, um, 
I, I think I recall you saying that in order to kind of bring back uh, like the rise of Lemuria again, it's a matter of um, helping these new Stargates anchor. So for everybody that's listening, like what can they all do individually? Um, yeah, they, they can move into the consciousness of Lemuria and the system mm -hmm. that supports Lemuria, which is the Wataka that you've been learning about. Mm -hmm. They can learn their birth sign, the Lemurian birth sign, which is the birth signs of nature and not codes written in the sky. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so connecting to those is a huge shift in the consciousness there's an ascension, consciousness ascension, so that it um, starts supporting nature and the planet in this way, opposite of opposite of the destruction and supporting the creation of life versus mm -hmm. the opposite. If you can do that, that's massive. If you can mm -hmm. find your way to understand that within yourself to do that and, and, it, and it becomes something of a very important matter to you, even better. So we offer that. And the one way to offer it, you can go to speak to the other Hunas and, and what they have to share with you as well. Like, for instance, quantumnavigator.earth to learn your birth chart. Um, uh, Firelight Continuum, flc.earth to, to receive a Lemurian oracle reading and, and the alignment to yourself and your future and past selves and understanding and clearing there. There's the, the two very powerful mediums that are working with these now and i'm just so incredibly honored that these things are coming forth and they are sharing on their own behalf mm -hmm. to 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 society too so you can go to those flc.earth quantum navigator.earth you get an intense reading from both of them mm -hmm. and um and then again bring your consciousness into the alignments of um, the Wataka, which is a Lemurian operating system, it'll pull you from one but one one matrix into a benevolent matrix of benevolence, multiple realities, but in the matrix of benevolence, where the geometries will support benevolence, geometries will support uh, the creation of life. Yeah, I'm glad you're um, you're talking about this because I uh, so I do Akashic records. Um, and I've learned a lot. I mean, I've seen pretty much everything that you've talked about um, through my own work. Mm -hmm. And I decided, I was like, oh, I think I'm gonna take an astrology course just to uh, just to enhance my my learnings, right? But it was uh, your your typical uh, like Western astrology. And um, I did not, I could not anchor that <laughs> for whatever reason. I was just like, man, maybe this is just over my head. I don't know what's going on. And then you started sharing about um, how that's, you know, part of the Atlantean, Draconian um, way of, of looking at it. And I was like, no wonder, because I just, I can't, Yeah, it, it kind of goes in one ear and out the other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want it. Your soul, your light, your being, your vibration doesn't want the Draconian. It no longer wants the Zodiac. Hmm. But the Lemurian is part of your nature, part of the natural cycle of you as a feminine, as a woman. It supports the natural cycle and the rotation of all your cells mm. to expand. And so Tamaake, Huna Tamaake from Quantum Navigator and Huna Kahasahi from the Lemurian Oracle both support the direction to, to share with you. And it is we don't refer to it as astrology. It's Awataka. Operation systems of Lemuria, which are in multiple, multiple parts, multiple dimensions, and, and in each part of them can be understood and integrated quite easily. Mm -hmm. It seems, well, vibration-wise, you, you know, the other yeah. one doesn't doesn't want to fit. You don't want to wear those shoes anymore, right? Yeah. A pair of shoes exactly. you don't want to wear anymore. I don't want these shoes anymore. Yeah. I'm on the second module of the Dragon Masters course. and uh, oh, Okay. Okay. So and, you're uh, going to yeah. Yeah. So even the first module, though, it's funny when um, repeating uh, repeating some of the stuff, you're like, oh, you're going to feel it here. And I was like, I did feel it there. <laughs> That's so crazy. So, yeah, uh, thanks for the work you're doing. Just wanted to come on and ask that. So you're welcome. Thank you. Huna. It's good to see you. We will talk uh -huh. to you soon. Uh, I've got to visit Hawaii soon on my way through. And uh, 
Yes, there are other hunas in Hawaii too, and, and Maui, and also where you are, and then we we can link up. There yeah, are some there's some hunas in um, that have been in Big Island as well to um, that from years ago um, to reignite and re-energize. You know, that'd be great. All right, aloha. 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 You're welcome. Uh, Christina, thank you for being patient. No problem. Oh, hello, hello again. Good to see you. Hello, wah wah. Hello. Wah wah wah. wah. Yeah, you're speaking the lingo now. Wah wah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm so honored to be here. I'm so grateful. Very nervous, but very grateful. Oh, nervous is good. That's good. That's okay. Thank you. Yes. Um, so I guess I'll just get like straight to it. Um, I, uh, I'm coming from Florida, um, Gainesville, Florida. Mm. Um, and thank you so, so much for everything that you do. I'm very grateful for you and all of your ancestors and all of your teachers. Um, I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much. I'm honored. Wasn't me. <laughs> was everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Yes. Thank you. I um I look forward to uh taking the Dragon Masters course at some Yippee! point in the next year Yes. <laughs> we need more in Florida. Absolutely more in Florida. You. Thank you. Gainesville. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> And actually, fun fact, um, before I jump into my question, I actually lived in Hawaii for a short time when I was a baby. Um, <laughs> and I've also felt very, like, uh, called to go back there uh, now as an adult. So <laughs> It's home for you. It's home for you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you like the dolphins? Or who doesn't like dolphins? But have you been seeing them a lot lately? Dolphins and whales? I, I've been seeing images of them, but not in the wild, no. Um, mm. However, I did make it, uh, I, I want to swim with the dolphins this year. They want to swim with you. They want to swim with me? Yeah, they want to swim with you. Go and visit them. Thank That's you. what I can see. And since you were a baby, Wow. So it would be like, welcome back. I feel that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, oh, I, I just had a question for you. Um, I'm here. I, uh, I'm all here. <laughs> so ever since 2021, um, I've uh, been seeing these... Uh, sort of what I, they look like vortexes, like a circle, um, and it's very fast moving. Uh, and, uh, and they're always, they usually have no color and they're always like up, like up in the, in the sky. Um, and, uh, <laughs> sorry, if you heard that, that was my son. Um, and uh, in the beginning of March, uh, I want to say like the first weekend of March, I uh, fell asleep while meditating. And I saw and on my ceiling a vortex, uh, but this time it was black in color. And it felt very um, neutral, like I wasn't scared. I was like kind of halfway between sleeping and awake, um, mm -hmm. but I opened my my eyes for a brief moment and saw this, and uh, and I was just kind of curious, and then I blinked, and it went away, and I went back to sleep. Um, so I was just wondering um, if maybe you had some clarity on what this phenomena is. Thank you very much. What months were you born? September. September. Oh, interesting. 
That's the dove. The dove. The birth sign. It's the dove. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. I've been wondering and looking actually at your old videos of uh, the Lemurian um, birth signs, and I haven't seen mine yet, so I was waiting. Oh. So, thank you. Yes, that's the Namu. Namu Motu is the dove, and um, it's also the birth sign of Yeshua. Of Vishnu? Yeshua or yes. Hohua, Yoshua. 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 Oh, wow. Wow, That's and my name bit. is Christina. It's hmm. it. and then he, was, he, came, he arrived at the same location. That's what we're saying. Some are saying between September 11 and I say September 15th. When I say that, it's either way. Uh, we, 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 many have spoken of September and the energy is correct there. In the, in the dove now the vortex to speak to the, the vortex um let's see here when, when you're lying in your bed which 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 direction is the headboard sitting in um so the headboard is up against the same wall as the door okay okay what 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 wall is that wall in the north south east or west that door, the headboard. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> I will bet something. I bet something. You go and look when, and you come back next time. I will bet that it's in the east. I will bet that wall that you're sleeping up against in your headboard, I will bet it's in the east. Okay, I'm going to pick two, east or west. But I think it's in the east. I've never I, I been to your place, right? I've never been to your house. You've never shown me your bedroom. I'm not like personal things. Yes, you go yes. and check the directions. Actually, why don't you go in there and check direction right now? So actually, I'm not living in the same location as I was whenever this uh, occurred. Okay, try to remember. Um, yes. So um, let's see. It was on the southwest part of town. Um, I'm not, so this is a sort of a, an issue I've had my whole life. I, I'm not very directionally sound, like I'm not very spatially aware. That's okay. <laughs> um, which I would like to improve upon because I think that would be important for my journey, probably. Yeah. The reason why I say this is because that's the direction and the alignment of the dove through the through the portal the star well the stargate but certainly through the portal through the dna mm, that's fascinating wow well i wish i could remember um i do have to go back there at some point yeah. and uh maybe i yeah. can come back on and and tell you for sure yeah, that'd people. be great tell me that'd be fun that'd be fun come back and visit yeah. Tell us what direction the headboard was sitting in, what up against the wall, and what direction it was. Hmm. I'm betting well, it's the east. Hmm. I trust your instinct. Um and and I will check. So because when you see a black portal or black vortex. In alignment to the to the door of fire. When I do a pro practice, it's called the dragon eye. And when I do the dragon eye, after a couple of minutes, the sun turns black or goes through multiple colors. Then when it turns black, um, I'm I'm looking into the void and I'm looking beyond the sun. That location's in the east. So if you're lying on your bed and your head's in the east and you're looking up and you see it and you open your eyes and you think boom. And there's a black portal just instantly. And your birth sign is the Namu. The Namu carries the the the, 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 the supports the soul through the burn or supports the, the soul through the burn off. It burns off distortion mm -hmm. out of your field when you enter back out of light. 
Wow. I, <laughs> that's very powerful. Thank you that so much for saying powerful. that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, maybe you had a death and came back. I believe that. Um, I think that that probably happened a few times. <laughs> okay, then, you know, yeah, it does. It does happen, you know, like your cells get new cells all the time. Every nanosecond. There's nothing wrong with it. It's all good. Yes. Nothing okay. to fear there. <laughs> so if you, you, you come visit again and let us know what that direction was, okay? I look well, forward to that. You. Yes, me too. Thank you for the information. No, you're welcome. Thanks for visiting. Thank you. Wawa. Wawa. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. Well, that was fun. Always fun. Sweet, sweet dear one, sweet daily beloved. Um, I got a couple more things to share, don't I, Tamaki? Why don't you, would you like to pop on and share them with me, uh, Una Tamaki? Actually, there's a couple of reports to share, sweet, sweet dear ones. There's a couple like of things to share. Yeah. If you don't mind. Yeah, Chris Chris wanted to get on today, and he tried. He's going to maybe try next week because his right. phone's not letting him on. Um, so a bunch of the Hoonas have been doing ceremony as of late. We had eclipse ceremonies that we were doing, all related to the eagle and the eagle's nest. And today... In Vancouver, we had Huna Kahiwaha doing ceremony. And she sent me this picture that I'm, once I find where in I Vancouver. actually put it on here. Yes, in Vancouver. Vancouver. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the island. Oh, well, so this, this is, uh, in the greater scheme of things, it's part of the Ring of Fire, uh, why they went out there. And here it is. After they did ceremony, they discovered this being here with a nest where what? they did ceremony. They, I mm. went on the, the eclipse day. I went to my location because of the Eagle's nest and where it was located. She went to the location to do ceremony, not knowing the Eagle's nest was there until afterwards. Amazing. Thank you very much. Um, ancient elder for visiting with them and the elders of the eagle's nest. There you go. And they were right there. So the topic of today's show is, is fully confirmed, not by the self, but by the eagle. So I tell you, sweet, sweet dear ones, you cannot confirm yourself. That would be just not right. And you know it, but you can be confirmed by the situation that you place yourself in. And there you go. We had the top, the topic for today was the elders of the eagle nest. And what, what happened? We had a whole bunch of hoonas doing ceremony right there in that location. And so the eagle has confirmed the elders uh, of the eagle nest and confirming the hoonas on location. Anything else to share? That's amazing now. Just take it in, sweet, sweet dear ones. And if you've been seeing the eagle lately, that's fantastic too. But in, you know, I'm just saying, yeah, you can see the eagle, you can do the stuff. But when Huna puts up the title and it says "Elders of the Eagles Nest," <laughs> are you gonna go and show up? <laughs> Sorry, sweet sweet dear ones. It's Hey, there's no producers in Hollywood that can create this stuff. I'll tell you, they don't even make. They can't get paid enough to. They couldn't even. They couldn't even. Nah, there's no way they could afford what the things that we we work with. No way. Not Tom Cruise. Not nobody. They couldn't. They couldn't keep up with this. Is how you keep up with it. Okay. What else was there, um, Tamaki? Did I forget? Um, well, we were looking briefly at the geometries earlier. Oh, yes. We wanted to talk about the flood. And that. The flooding that's coming and the effects after the the, the uh, eclipse. Um, and about the mothership oh, yeah. under the water, pushing the waves around mm -hmm. off the coast of uh, the Americas. I think and, uh, it was the, the coast of Africa. 
Was that that uh, was that was the the Lion's Head Stargate? That's the oh. location of where that was, right off the coast. Yes, yes. And so that just completed, and we were aligning to these geometries, which we do on this geometry that Hunatama Akir has been producing, creating. And by the way, um, as I shared earlier, quantum navigator.earth to be uh, to share with the birth signs and the birth charts of Lemuria with Hunatama Akir and also Hunataha Sahi from. Lemurian Oracle, flc.earth, flc.earth. So uh, the geometry? Yeah. We have that. Let me get, uh, get out of here on this. Yes. So enter. No, return and enter. The return in the enter. Okay, sweet, sweet, dear ones, sweet, dearly beloveds. It's a bit advanced, but then I think you can grab a hold of this. What is the return? What is the enter? We've spoken dearly and lovingly spoken of as the Uru, which means the enter and return. But interesting how the align up alignment is with the, with the geometry for this. The this, this, this set of birth signs make up these ge geometry sweet, sweet, dear one. And a certain certain um, number of them in a certain sequence, they make up the motus. The motus create the geometry. So the geometries are being created by our all of our lights and the way that it's reacting within a certain area of energy at a certain season of love, okay? And certainly certain intentions. Now the return, as with it, it was returning from... Um, may okay so it's coming from light back to outside of light so the geometries here you're seeing at the return is the energy that's outside of light okay so what's being processed outside of light um connected to you connected to the higher self certainly connected to um, the birth signs that are creating these geometries the mortus they create these energy, these uh, geometries and the facets and the energies, vibration frequencies that create the magnetic field. And then processing the intention. What was the intention? What happened? What's been happening? They confirm the intention. So that's all. So, so you can take a look at a lot of neat news. Some of it fake. Some of it not. Some of it mis misinformation. Take a couple of nuggets that make uh, pretty make, make sense. You know, we had a visit from the mothership. We had uh, uh, movements in the water coming out of the Antarctic. We had movement uh, in the in uh, around New York with, with people leaving New York. <laughs> That's a return, leaving light and going back outside of light, um, because the fields are getting distorted. Okay, so they only go back out of light. Clear off, burn off, burn off distortion, and then enter again. Now the enter is over here on the 18th to the 23rd. These two positions are sharing um, the enter into light. So coming back into light. So when we come back into light at the end of this month, entering back into May, into enter in May. They're going to enter the enter here at this point in April. To a different aspect of energy. So we come from outside of light back inside of light in this in, in 28 days and then uh, enter and then return again in another set of 28 days of the next Motu birth sign. I'll let you just soak that up. These are incredible geometries, they're incredible facets. And referring to the eagle's nest, what is today? The fourteenth. Mm -hmm. So we are in the in the on the return from the eleventh through to the eighteenth. We'll be going from the return. We're going to enter our consciousness and our physical DNA. Certain beings, certain birth signs are going to be on the 
um, on the enter, on the journey to the enter back into light. So it's a processing, a processing of um, regeneration and polishing of the light and, and uh, a sense of uh, clarity, a sense of uh, wisdom and knowledge and all the intelligence becoming clear and comprehensive. Uh, to have comprehension and, and the knowing. So it's going from the stillness to the sound, from the sound to the knowing, from the knowing to the action. Okay. And then again, from the action to the knowing, from the knowing to the sound, from the sound to the silence, from the silence to the light, the baby being birthed into the light and back into light again, which is in this atmosphere, right? Uh, and, and so there's a lot more to that, but this wonderful sharing of this so you can you can see and feel it. And we do share these things, um, but at this particular time, this is the the Tuatara Motu, right? April, it's the, the birth sign is the, is the smiling gecko. The smile is being returned. And there is a lot of smiling happening lately. I don't know if you've seen it. And I hope you have. And I hope you're smiling. There's a lot to smile about, sweet, sweet dear ones, regardless of what's going on in this, in the draconian uh, matrix over there, in the Gregorian matrix over there in the nonsense. You can watch it play out. Okay, fine. We don't have to be of it. Nothing's locking you into that nonsense. Let it go. You can let it go. And so, channel, channeling and channeling and connecting, upload and download through this, through this alignment also. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Anything else to say on that? Uh, well, the eclipse was exactly three months after the Lemurian Lion's Gate. So there is that to think about. Yep. Yes. And it comes and goes. How about thinking about that? It came and gone. And here we are. Have you, have you, what do you feel, everybody? Sweet, sweet, dear ones, how do you feel? Xavier is still talking about demons and all those things. Huh? We can see where he is. <laughs> Xavier. Have you done what I've asked you to do, Xavier? You don't have time to talk about demons and stuff. You need, you got to go and do those things um, and, you know, and then get on the go. I'm serious. I want more and I want better for you. And demons, talking about demons all day long is boring. Demons are boring, aren't they? About you, Satan, Lucifer, and demons, they're all boring. They're like mosquitoes to me. They're mosquitoes. So I ain't even I ain't even bothered with them. Um okay, so another announcement. And the flooding. Yes, brother was reporting the flooding and after the work done in, um, in Hawaii at the Stargate. After that, and all the clearing and purging, now is a clean out. Extra little bit of cleaning going on. So this is good, good news. Oh, and when uh, you and I were looking at this earlier, you had mentioned for the return, it looks like a mothership. Oh, yeah. And that happens to be the time frame of the so-called anomaly off the coast of Africa coming out of the Antarctic. And I did double check the time frame. It was the 9th to the 11th. Yeah, look at that, the return. Yeah, absolutely, it's gone now. It's gone outside of light. Um. It's okay, so 
Somebody was just here. Um, you're welcome to return. I'm sorry we're yibber yibber yabbering over here. Um, but just if you do, if you are thinking of coming back, then uh, let me just remind you that there is a raffle coming around. I hope you all take the raffle. Uh, you win a free one-on-one -on -one session with myself. I will take it to further beyond beyond the limits of a simple one-on-one. -on -one. We'll have a good chat. Uh, one other thing that we're thinking about doing is like maybe raffling off a game of golf with me, a round of golf. Or also we may be doing a raffle for um, a seal to become Huna, to win a, to win a, a, a um, <coughs> opportunity to be initiated to Huna through the seal. <coughs> So I'm looking forward to that. I uh, hope you can support that. I think we're um, I think we're done here. Unless Nairobi comes back. Yeah, well, that's who it was, Nairobi. <clears throat> you know what? I didn't even say hello. Well, I did earlier, but I say again to those on the grams of instant. Thank you so much for returning here and sweet, sweet dear ones. Oh yeah, I did. It was um, it's a lot of new names. Crossroads, uh, kia ora to you, Crossroads, James and uh, Izzy. James and Izzy, kia ora. There she is. Ah. Beautiful. Hi, Robbie. Welcome. Hey. Greetings. How are you all? <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Um, sorry, I was I was supposed to jump on a call at two forty-five my time, so I wasn't sure if it was if I was going to make it or not. So, um, uh, but thank you for having me on. Uh, I just have one quick question. <clears throat> I just learned about you through Aaron Lyons. Very uh, yeah. very exciting. Um, I've been getting a lot of synchronicities with dragons. So I actually had went to, um, sorry for the loud noise, but I went to a mountain, kind of like a little reservation location here in Colorado. And I went with a friend. She's there all the time. She goes there all the time. And she said, hey, I want to take you up there. You know, come visit with me. And I said, OK. So when we went into the mountain area, we uh, sat in this sacred space that she likes to go to. And then uh, there was a rock far off, you know, in the valley, but it was the shape of the head of a dragon. And and the way that the rock was sitting, it had a hole where that. And then coming out of the, the ground, there was another rock both behind it that looks like a tape. So it's almost like the dragon was kind of underneath the ground, but the head is coming out of the kind of how it looked and, and we were looking you think we're losing you sorry but you're glitching oh so sorry can you see me right. now? and if you could speak up a bit more wow Really, I mean, I love sure. the sound of the birds. The birds are out, are out chirping you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they are. <laughs> Sorry. That's better. Can you hear me now? Is this better? Much better. Okay. Um, so, anyways, we were out in the the mountain in the area, and the, this dragon. It looks like a dragon head, and the hole was where the eye was. And then, after a moment um, of staring at this rock shifted from the red color of the rock into like a darker color it's almost like it shape shifted to the dragon and then where the the eye was it was a silver it was a silver film like it was just totally silver you couldn't really see through it anymore so i just uh she looked at me and and she said did you see that and i said yeah i saw that and she said that's the first time that's ever happened with and it's only been with you nairobi so <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it was really interesting that that happened. And then ever since then, uh, I've had a couple of plant medicine ceremonies and the dragon has showed up to me in the ceremonies. 
and uh, <clears throat> a couple of readings that shows up in the reading. So I'm just taking it as a sign. <laughs> and I wanted to get your uh, opinion on what that could mean. Well, you look at something long enough and it will shift. Okay. That's such, such is the nature of our atmosphere and, and the light and the energy and the vibration within our field. It's risen. It is ascension. And you are activated or being initiated or activating further into this to this field and being recognized. It's seeing you. We are seeing each other. It's everything is being seen now. Everything is being revealed. Shape shifting is part of that for you to take pay attention and notice. If it was a red dragon first, um, in my understanding, in my opinion and experience, this is known as the divine directive. It's an energy source that uh supports the divine directive what was the divine directive well the directive was to get you to look and what were you going to do when you looked to keep looking so when you kept looking things shifted together at a moment the directive for, was for you to to witness uh, uh to be witnessed so you were witnessed okay so again i always say you can't don't even try to confirm yourself talk about yourself this way have be, be confirmed by what is going to see see you how it witnesses you and then somebody else is witnessing you at the same time because if they're saying like hey did you see that yeah i saw that that's a witnessing it's all right there it, it happened all right there in that split second moment and, and it, it is a big deal because that's you know divine directives are you got to catch them you know, you catch the divine, the divine directive. It's like, boom, you only have an instant. So what happened? You saw it. saw you. Uh, it was a darker dragon. What what color was it again? Yeah, it turned into like a greenish, okay. uh, between a black and a green color. Dark green, huh? Forest yeah. green. Forest green. Elemental dragon. Elemental element. Forest green. Um, and then what happened? Um, then the eye turned silver. Oh, the eye went silver. Oh, the eye went silver. Yeah. Oh, it gave you a dragon eye, did it? Nice. Yeah. So telepathics, increasing telepathics, uh, increasing contact communication, just increasing it more, um, more potent your connection. Okay, but you got to practice. Okay, don't just let it. Don't just sit around and watch TV. You got to practice. You got to go and focus. Focus is the nature for sure. This is a uh, element dragon. Green dragon is the forest dragon. So land, nature. What is it you do? Okay. Um, well, I do some energy healing work, and um, we actually. I, my background is in IT, so it's kind of interesting how I ended up in this energy healing. But um, but I now do some energy healing work, and I'm helping. I uh, actually created a program. We just started it. It's called Divine Woman of Wisdom, and it's to actually to help empower them who have gifted children and be aware of the gifted children. Because my grandchildren are very gifted, and mm. uh, it kind of it kind of led me on this path to try to help mothers who are not aware that their children are gifted, or maybe they are aware and they just don't know what to do. So. So just helping them out. Uh, you you could uh, also, you know, we have the Dragon Masters within the House of Huna. It's a very powerful set of um, blocks, modalities, modules, and and um, protocols, and um, knowledge and wisdom of the operating systems of Wataka, which is nature, and the operating systems of nature, and aligned this way. Uh, because you are running into dragons and you're bumping into this. You see they're starting to show, you know, uh, this is all higher vibration. It's, and it's certainly New Earth stuff. It is New Earth. This is Lemuria now, in my opinion. And in my experience, heck, I'm seeing it. It's been witnessed enough. It's Lemuria 5. Okay. Aquarius, you want Aquarius? Okay, you can have Aquarius. It's still part of Atlantis. Okay. Anything part of Atlantis in that area is still 
needs time to switch out of the matrix and switch over to Lemuria. So we speak Lemuria. And it, to me, when you're seeing the green dragons like that, that's all of nature in support of the Wataka, the system of Lemuria, then you are in Lemuria. Gratitude. <laughs> what, was your, what, was your, what month were you born? You blacked out and now I can't hear you. I guess you'll have to come back and tell us what month you were born. <laughs> can't hear you. Still can't hear you, but okay. Can you read lips, Tamaki? No. No, I cannot. So go out. But yes. Okay. <laughs> it was right when you asked that question. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't, ain't it always like that? How can we Africans be part of Lemuria? Well, you are. Africa is part of Lemuria, the 13 tribes of Africa. A Lemurian, many star beings, star nations. Okay, um, I think that's it for the day. Since we're doing, we're knocking yeah. it off at around roughly the same time. And um, yes, Thomas, that's a massive statement. I, I, I'm not sure if you're talking to me or not. Um, yeah, that's what a, a, a African of Lemuria. Okay. The Nubians, the Dogons, they're Lemurian, they're star nations, okay, the kingdoms of Lemuria. Um, check out Burning Mask dot Earth, sweet dear ones. Uh HOH dot Earth, please. FLC dot Earth, that's F as in Firelight Continuum dot Earth, FLC dot Earth, Quantum Navigator dot Earth. Birth charts for Lemuria uh, and other goodies that are coming up. You can see over there in the events on hoh.earth. And we have a mailing list now for the oh. House of Huna. So anybody that's wanting information about the raffle, whenever we get that together, updates about Burning Mask, uh, the crystal dust being made available. Yes. Things like that. You sign up for the mailing list and we'll let everybody know what's going on. Crystal dust to create crystal paint to what? Create a crystal house. Why? To raise the vibration. Yes. We share the perfect crystal dust to fortify your home, your existing home in any color because you choose the paint. You just, you, all you have to do is add this crystal into it. It's very powerful. It's just, it's incredible. And then crystallize your home. Go down and crystallize and paint the nearest dark cathedral with a pure white crystal paint and change the vibration of the center of the town. <laughs> Raise it up. Okay, sweet dear ones, that's it from us. I want to thank Huna Tamaake and all the Hunas that are visiting and all the sweet, sweet, dear ones, sweet, dearly beloveds over there on the Grams of Instant, on the Book of Face, and all the X, X Mass X for Elon Musk and all of you on the tubes of you, YouTube. Can I get them together? Yeah, but perhaps we can do something like that. But you can also go to their their um, testimonials as well. You can see a lot of uh, comments and sharing that they speak about. But we'll figure something out and come back with that. That sounds like a fun thing to do, right? Conversation with a dragon master. <laughs> or the making of a dragon master. Ooh. Ooh -wee. 
That's a million, multi-billion dollar uh, production right there. Okay, so thanks so much, sweet, sweet, dear ones, sweet, dearly beloveds. Have a fantastic remainder of your day and the balance of your evening or, or your dream. Stay tuned. There's a whole lot more coming. And we'll be back again next Sunday. Just remember, I'll be on the road. So the schedule's going to try to need to work on the schedule. Just be aware of that. Thank you so much for the honoring. And we'll see you again, sweet, sweet dear ones. Wah, wah. I'm out. Peace.